Hello everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog. Today is Tuesday, October 11th, and I have just finished taking photos of some of the new stuff I've made. For example, my new gift tags, my new gingerbread cookies, and so on and so forth. All the stuff I made for the craft market are going to be up in the Etsy store soon. So I've taken all the photos and eventually throughout the week, I'm gonna end up editing them. I'm just gonna work on the shop update throughout the week. I did take all of last week off from filming because I needed to catch up on Patreon stuff. And this month's theme for Patreon is autumn. And if you follow me or if you watched the last video about the art market or if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that this artwork is inspired from the place that I went to for the art market. This is how the art print turned out for Patreon this month. It features Mushroom Khan, Captain Frago, and Jeremy. And I'm really happy with how they turned out. If you haven't seen yet, these are the extra Frisco rewards that are going to go out as well. Last week, other than working on Patreon rewards, I also did a few other things. On October 6th, the Fruits Basket Prelude movie came out. If you like Fruits Basket, which is an anime by the way, you should definitely watch it. Uh, it was kind of hard for me to find because I thought it would be its own little category, but it's actually at the very end of the new Fruits Basket series as like an extra episode. If you haven't watched the whole series yet, you need to watch it before you watch the movie because like the first 32 minutes is literally a recap of almost the entire ending of Fruits Basket. Also went to the Quebec Comic Con. It was a lot of fun. There was a huge lineup but honestly it wasn't that bad despite the lineup and we ended up having to park somewhere else instead of parking where we thought we were going to but it ended up being a lot better because the place we ended up parking at had like an underground tunnel that connected to the convention center that it was at. So we ended up waiting inside of the building instead of outside where we would have if we had parked where we were going to originally. So that turned out for the best. I got to watch my very first wrestling match <laughs> in person. It was very entertaining. My husband was really looking forward to that so I'm happy that we were able to go see that. My husband said there was a lot of people compared to the other years because usually when he had gone previous years, he could walk through the aisles very easily. But this year, apparently we had to make a lot of effort to be able to look at all the vendors and everything. A whole lot of Genshin cosplay. I know that Genshin Impact is really, really huge right now. <laughs> but it was really nice just to be able to go as an attendee and see all the beautiful cosplays. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what I did yesterday. What did I do yesterday? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yesterday, I unpacked all my things because I wanted to get ready for the shop update sometime this month. I want to get it out as soon as possible because it will be my last shop update of the year. Now, let me show you guys what I am working on for the Pinder Club goodie for this month. So this is what I'm working on. This is going to be a magnetic bookmark for the Pinda Club video this month. I finished planning it and putting all the flat colors down. So now I just have to render it, make it look pretty, and then attempt to fix it up on Silhouette Studio to make the magnetic bookmark. Spring is the season that wakes me alive And fall is the season to contemplate life Oh, yeah. I don't know what is it exactly in this time of year That makes the melancholy me reappear Oh, back and forth Through dark roast coffee Salt mist and sea Sand and Trees, cause it still feels like summer, but it's soaked in nostalgia slowly. All the leaves are turning brown, cause it still feels like summer, and I simply don't wanna see the cold wind sneak back in our town. Cause we lived when it was up bare feet, dancing glitter. 
listening beneath the heat Evening swirl into a bird song beat But it smells so very bittersweet So I guess I'll just put on my favorite sweater And say goodbye to summer Have you ever wondered how fun and exciting it is to do a shop update? Did you know that many small business owners suffer from going through thousands and thousands or okay maybe i'm over exaggerating maybe it's just me because i have my camera on like the what is it called the super shutter is that what it's called the mode where the camera takes like 50 photos in one click don't ask me why it's on that mode but i put it on that mode and i feel like it helps me makes me feel a little better because i know i'm taking like 5,000 photos of one product at a time and i know for a fact i'm just there hoping that maybe one of these photos are going to be the chosen photos of all photos for every single product that I had to take a photo of. Like, yeah, look how fun this is. Looking through almost the same type of photo, trying to figure out if it's good or not. I'm just speaking for myself. I know that, you know, not everyone dislikes this part of doing a shop update, but it's the worst part for me. I hate taking Etsy shop photos. I hate doing listings, but it's a part of the job. You gotta do it if you wanna do this small business stuff. <laughs> I complain about it every single time there's a shop update i have to do but you know complaining about it makes me feel better probably hate it more than doing admin so that's saying quite a lot voila it's super super exciting so today is sunday october 16th i have been working the past few days on my last shop update of the year and i'm really really excited for it because this also just means that it's been a really fun year of creating stuff for etsy and i can't wait to make more products in the future for next year i've been able to do a lot of new things washi tape shaker charms sticker books lanyards and so on and stuff that i've been wanting to do for the shop have slowly been checked off so maybe more of the stuff would be checked off next year. The shop update would have already been done by the time this studio vlog goes up. It's going to be tomorrow, which is October 17th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, I'm really happy with myself for getting it done, getting it out there. For today, I want to do Patreon physical goodies. I have everything done, everything for all the tears, all the pinnacle club goodies. During the time I wasn't really filming as much and between the shop update, I worked on an extra goodie for the pinnacle club members this month. Besides the magnetic bookmark that I made earlier in the vlog, they're also going to be getting a washi sheet that kind of goes with the autumn theme, but not at the same time because I want it to be something that they can use whenever. Let's get some Patreon goodies prepared.
Today is Tuesday, October 18th. I've gotten a lot done this past week and a half-ish. I got my last shop update of the year up and running and it's live right now. I finished my Pinot Club goodies. And last night I also finished the digital download for this month. And the digital download is gonna be two memo sheet designs. One is Captain Frogo and the other one is kind of like cozy autumn items. Yeah, I'm really happy with how those memo sheets turned out. I was really in the groove last night and this month has been so much fun to design for Patreon because before I went to the art market, I had designed a different kind of art print. I ended up creating a different art print from the original. From the original, I took literally everything from it and was able to implement all the design ideas into the items for this month and i'm really proud of myself for that i don't think i've ever felt so prepared i don't really do fall artwork i've had like some fall items but when it comes to like fall illustrations and so on i think in total i've only had two since i started doing digital art also last night i launched a discord server if you don't know what discord is it's a place where you can text and voice chat with people who are within the same server as you are for instance this is called mei ying arts hangout it's for my community my community is little but then if you're someone who's interested in youtube art or just trying to connect with other creatives this might be a good place for you because when I started, I wish I had a group of people that I could talk to when I had questions. Also a fun place to talk to people in general. Anyone can join as long as you're interested in that kind of stuff. Also have topics for anime, book talk. There's also a section for video person, sharing your artwork, sharing your social media, your arts and crafts, work in progress, so on and so forth. So there's quite a few topics and I try to organize it so if there's like a specific category you're looking for then maybe you could find it easily and yeah this is something i wish i had when i was starting out so if you're interested there will be a discord link down below in the description and yeah come join us it'll be a lot of fun to connect with everyone learn more about each other you can download discord on your computer on your phone it also has a website version as well if you're not interested in downloading the app the rest of the week i will be working on admin i've been slacking off on admin for a very long time and also i want to thank these people here who are my patrons on patreon and thank you guys so much for supporting me there i really really appreciate it. you guys are super awesome of course if you can't support me on patreon it is totally fine as well because just you watching this video or subscribing helps me a lot as well speaking of that i have just recently surpassed 800 subscribers so thank you so much if you're a subscriber i really really appreciate it it helps me a whole lot and if you're not subscribed yet consider subscribing i would really really appreciate it i'm going to end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye